Hey guys, this is the opportunity right now when everyone's in fear to buy these semiconductor stocks while they're on sale. Okay, it's hard to do this. This is what we've trained for, guys. This is what we practice for. I know you're feeling sick in your stomach right now, and that's oftentimes the best time to be buying these semiconductor stocks. And remember, semiconductors are the new oil, guys. This AI boom, doesn't matter what the news says, this is going to last a long time. We know companies are spending heavily on AI over the next couple of years, and that's going to benefit these AI companies, okay? So you can find some great deals out there right now. You got Astera Labs, which this is a more expensive semiconductor, but it's at $43 a share, the lowest it's ever been, okay? These are opportunities if you're holding long where you can make some good money. Broadcom's on the dip, right? LAM Research, NVIDIA, Micron, right? The list goes on AMD. Remember, AMD can change everything with a beat and raise report later today after market close. Remember, the Fed meeting provides extra volatility. There's a lot of fear around this, but once we clear through, stocks should be able to get back on track with earnings season. I expect a lot of these big caps you know, that are reporting to beat and raise on earnings, okay? We got Amazon coming up. We have a lot of the big dogs reporting, so it will be an important week, okay? But if Powell says anything about an interest rate cut being possible next, next meeting, stocks are gonna bounce back nicely, guys, okay? But if he doesn't, if he says we need to see more proof and doesn't mention anything about a cut, stocks will probably sell off or be around where they're at now in the short run, okay? But you got to take a bigger point of view. Extend your time horizon, guys, because when an interest rate cut eventually happens, all stocks will benefit. Again, mostly the small caps because of how much they've been left behind. But all, all stocks do benefit because it's a risk on rally. More money's coming into the market. There's more economic activity. Obviously, we know this by now, so... Things will be better once that happens, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, we're getting closer though. But anyways, remember what Tom Lee said. There aren't enough prime age workers out there to cover all of the jobs. And so that money, instead of those wages being paid to a worker, right, a human, now it's being paid to AI. So a company is now capturing that revenue or that money. And that's why those semiconductor stocks, which are providing these advanced AI chips, are going to keep benefit benefiting guys over time. So if you're a long-term investor, this is the dip to continue to dollar cost average. Don't wor worry about all the negative news, all the fear. Remember, when stocks go down, there's more negative news behind that. When stocks go up, there's more positive news. That's just how it is. So this is your opportunity, guys. Extend your time horizon. Buy these semiconductor stocks, and you're going to come out on the other end with some good money.